random Zuhu post. Uh, I have no further context than that. Where you want to show there is a sequence of 2021 20, consecutive positive integers. Um, the heck? Wait, no! Sorry, let me try that again. Welcome back! So, we have a problem from Zuhu where you want to show there is a sequence of 2021 consecutive integers for which no two have the same number of factors. Six, like 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, so... We are going to... Um, yeah, we're going to kill the problem. Uh, I think this will work. Uh, <laughs> Zuhu is a f message board, apparently, so... No, no, I think it's a message board. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. So, let's like let P1, P2, uh, P2021 be primes. And what we're going to do is we're going to say... Um, we're going to requ let Let's let N be the starting number. Uh, actually, let me use P0 so the indexing works out nicer. Okay, let n be the starting number. What we're going to do is we're going to require n plus i is congruent to, let's say, p to the i minus p to the i minus 1 mod p i. Uh, yeah. Okay, so this means the number of divisors of n plus i is divisible. Well, it's different primes. Number of divisors of d of n plus i is going to be. This is. We're not done yet, but divisible by pi. And basically, if pi is big enough, um, for most values of n, it's unlikely that you have an exponent that appears so frequently that, you know, bad things happen. Uh. Yeah, sort of like 2008 and one. Yeah, yeah. Or sorry, yes, pi to the pi. Thanks for the catch. Oh frick! Why is it throwing six out of different errors at me? Hey, it compiled fine, I think. Okay, I don't know. Uh, pi mod qi minus one, in case more degrees of freedom helps. Okay, sure. <laughs> sure, why not? Uh, q, we'll, we'll use q. So I'm pretty sure that there's some sort of density argument will be good enough. Um, because the fraction of numbers that are divisible by so the arithmetic fraction, yeah, no, the, 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 I agree this should work. So, okay, so by Chinese remainder theorem, um, actually, let, let me just do different primes here, uh, different primes. In different large prime, yeah, that's fine. Greater than twenty twenty, greater than twenty twenty, so that there's no conflicts. So by Chinese remainder theorem, any um, we get a family, we get n modulus, we get a modulus m. We we get a residue class, modulo m equals product of pi to the qi simultaneously. Satisfying all cuts. You remember this from NT1? Okay, so this problem is actually... I don't feel like this problem feels like an NT1 problem. Like, it feels a little harder than that. Okay, because I'm a... Like, because I'm about to also use density. Uh, <laughs> constraints. Okay.
Okay, so um, pick a threshold value lambda. Well, let's say n equals like k i plus a m plus r. All right. Feels like NT3. Maybe it was non share prime factors. Oh, yeah, that feels like NT1. So we're going to pick a threshold <laughs> A, the number of things, and look exclusively for values that are um, min qi power free other than our desired thingies. Right? And the arithmetic density of such choices of A is 1 over zeta of qi <laughs> plus 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 something uh What's the error term? It's like order of like square root a, right? Or actually, it's like q i root of a. I think is whatever. As long as it's little o of a, we're fine. <laughs> okay, so as long as. So as long as like the sum of i of one minus one over zeta q i, so the fraction of things that miss pi, uh, zeta two is pi squared over six six over yeah one minus one over zeta i is less than one over two thousand twenty one. then we don't die. And, but zeta of s approaches 1 as s goes to infinity. So this is possible. <laughs> yeah! Okay, that should work, right? Oh wait! No, no. See, the problem is that it's not enough to be square free with these primes. Like, you have to also avoid powers of primes that are not in the list. So if like Q1 is 3, just, just for sake of example, if Q1 was 3, you have to be just cube free period, not cube free mod like the PIs. Um, but because, yeah, so you need you, why don't you just induct? What do you mean? In, how do you induct? You take k relatively prime to all of them. And for sufficient k, you win. Wait, for the original problem or for this analytic approach? <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> I okay. <laughs> <laughs>